Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are continuing with my makeup storage slash inventory, I don't know, collection video. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but now we're going to look at my face palette. So like things with blushes, highlighters, bronzers, and yeah. We'll probably have time to do like blushes and single bronzers and highlighters. So let me just get started and yeah. So the first thing I have here, oh, my nails are horrible. <laughs> Ignore that. Um, is this Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. This one here, it's very like summery and pretty. I got this from BoxyCharm, but I think I bought, like, it was something I bought from the pop-up because I really wanted it and I didn't get it in my regular, like, subscription. I also had this. Um, this is a concealer palette, which is not my favorite, and I don't get much use out of it because I don't, like, I don't need all of these shades for my one skin tone. I mostly just use this cream shade as like a spot concealer but I find like the formula is too dry to wear under my eye anyway so I've been trying to like get use out of this but I don't know how much longer I'll keep it in my collection. This is by Measurable Difference also from BoxyCharm. I have this Becca um, Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette. Ugh, I can never open this. This one here, which I really love. I do use this quite often. More in the summer, though. This is one of my favorite products. It's a trio from Makeup Forever, but you make it yourself. So they sell, like, these individual pans and this formula is so good it's so like finely milled and smooth and blendable so this is just like a matte highlighter that I use like under my eyes this is a blush I don't remember the names of any of these and this is like a contour bronzer type thing but I really like this it used to be in my everyday makeup drawer so that's a really good one. Ow, I think I got a splinter. I have this um, Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. This was in a boxy charm, and I think like someone made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> Cause this is like not a bronzer. If you can see like, it's also not a highlighter though. Cause it's like very powdery. So I don't know what they were going for with that. Is it like a mistake or I don't know what. I mean, even on someone very fair, I feel like that wouldn't be a bronzer, but I don't know. I keep this anyway <laughs> and I'll see uh, if I get more use out of it. This is one of my favorite products, the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. It looks like this. I love it so much. There's creams under here. And these are like all different formulas. And I really like it. I also have the Love palette. Another one of my favorites. I have a whole video demoing this. This one looks like that. So more like pinky reds. And the bloom is more like coral pink. So I have those two. I have this MAC Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. This is one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. It's called Tutu and this blush is a really nice shade for winter. It's called At Dusk. So this is another one of my favorites. One of the, like the older products in my collection too. but. I still use it. This is the Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. The Chisel Palette. I think this came in a boxy luxe. And I was really excited about it because I've often wondered about this product. So there's like 
um, a regular highlighter, a matte highlighter, a shimmer bronzer, like a more contoury shade, and then some deeper bronzers here. But I think even though this has different shades, they're all pretty much like light to medium, I would say. So I think I can get a lot of use out of the different shades, but I just haven't used it enough yet. I also have this Cover FX Perfector Face Palette that I've mentioned a few times on my channel. I use this as a blush palette because um, this came in a boxy charm, but for whatever reason, they sent the medium, the medium deep version. So like, these are actual medium deep shades in my opinion that I can't pull off as um, highlighter. So. Basically, all of this is blush for me, except this um, brightener shade. But I really like the formula. This is something I need to use more, the TARDIS Pro Glow. I got this at Sephora when it was on sale one time, and clearly, I haven't used it enough. I've used the highlighters, but not really, like, the obviously not this cream shade at all. I just swatched it, apparently. Um, so I want to get more use out of this, especially since there's a cream product in here, which could, like, dry up at some point. I have this huge thing. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Collection by Casey Holmes. It looks like this. It's actually really pretty. It has, um, it had a lip product here and a perfume, but I took them out because I don't find I reach for them if they're in here. Um, but there's a bronzer, and this is the deep bronzer shade that they sell like separately. This is a really nice blush um, called Copper Cabana. They sell this separately too, I'm pretty sure. And the highlighter, but the highlighter was limited edition for this palette. It's called Just Beachy. It's very like glittery. And then there's four eyeshadows here, which are the same like formula as their palettes. And I really like these shades, so. I just wish like I could do something else and not have to keep this big thing, but um, everything's like glued in here. Plus I don't have any other Z palette anyway, so it's gonna stay in here. I have this Nars Narcissist wanted one palette i really like this these are the shades this is um a nice highlighter but the rest are obviously blush i have my flower beauty busted uh lift and sculpt contouring palette but the contour shade fell out but i keep it because this is one of my favorite highlighters in my collection um, this is the light, light to medium version, so, yeah. Um, I have this Pure Sculptor palette. It looks like this. So, this is actually, um, it looks like, yeah, well, obviously these are highlighters. Um, these two are matte, but this looks like it's very dark for me. I don't know why I kept this, to be honest. Maybe I'll just try this out when I have a tan, which is, like, not very often. <laughs> but, you know what I mean, more like in the summer months. Because, yeah, this looks very deep to me right now but I'm still kind of curious about it. I also have this highlight and contour palette from IBY Beauty. This one here, this thing for it is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, but um, I never really use contour palettes, especially not ones that are like all matte, so yeah, I don't know. It looks really nice though. The shades look good. I might declutter this one at some point. 
We'll see. This I just took out of the box because I haven't used it. It's the Sephora Pro Pro Face Palette in medium. I bought this when it was on sale. I think it might still be. Um, normally I don't buy things that are medium, but this one is really nice. And the colors in the light version of this palette are weird and like purple and I don't know. This one just looked more like things I would actually wear. So even though like maybe the highlighters might be a bit too deep, uh, I still really wanted it because I just love these like peachy, you know, those kind of shades. So we'll see. I really want to use this. I just haven't had an occasion to do so. So yeah, that's all for my face palettes. So I think we can also do my the rest of my stuff. Highlighters, should we do highlighters now? Okay, so I have a lot more highlighters than I thought. So I'll try to go through these quickly. I have so many like little ones too. So let me just pull this out. Um, well, this is a full size. This is the Milk Holographic Stick in Supernova. Another boxy charm product. It's like a yeah holographic highlighter, which I don't use often. And I have a mini lit highlighter. This one I've used more, and I remember liking it. If I if I'm remembering correctly, I have this little Marc Jacobs mini. Uh, do you do drops? I really like this. Um, I could probably use this up, which I'm planning on like after everything is organized and everything, I want to do like a makeup inventory video where I actually tell you like the numbers. So like the number of eyeshadow palettes, the number of blushes and so on. I might do that. And then I want to do like a project pan, which is very ambitious. Um, if you don't know what a project pan is, it's when you use up an entire makeup product. So more on that later, but that's my plan. So I'm also kind of looking at things that I could potentially, potentially use up. Um, yeah, we'll see. So anyway, I have this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops, this little guy. I guess this is more like a primer. I don't even know if it's still good. <laughs> I'll have to get some use out of that. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's the Iconic London Illuminator. So it's like a liquid highlighter. Um, but this one I actually use as a highlighter and I really like it. Oh, I have another mini milk holographic stick, I'm pretty sure. Is this? Yeah, holographic stick in... I don't think there's a name on this, but it's obviously not the same as this one. Because it's more pink. I don't remember how I feel about this or if I even ever used it. <laughs> so that's great. Um, this is a very small mini. It's a nudie, no, nude sticks, nudies, all over face color, highlight and glow. Supposedly for lip, eye, and cheek. The shade is called Illuminati. Wow, that's shiny. That's what it looks like. Um, I want to try this though. Everyone on YouTube raves about nude sticks. I feel like it's very expensive for what it is, but we'll see. What is this? I didn't even know I had this. This is an Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Conceited. I've heard really good things about these. Yeah, I haven't even opened this. It looks like it might be very gold, but we'll see. And this is what? Oh, that's a primer. Okay, so I think that's it for the minis. Oh, before I forgot to mention in my face palettes, I also have this mini spat. 
Smashbox Contour. I really like this actually, even though the pens are <laughs> tiny, but the formula is really good. So yeah, I forgot to mention that one. Oh, I do also, no, I do have more minis. <laughs> so this is a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Sand Castle. I'm pretty sure this came with a mini lip gloss, so it was like a duo. And I've never used this, so that's good. <laughs> so yeah, I have that. I see something here that I think has expired yeah so this milk makeup liquid strobe if you can tell like the liquid uh, dried up and there's only like pigment left in there well that's a shame because i didn't get any use out of that yeah that's not usable so that's going in the garbage oh this i actually remember liking a lot it's a benefit what's up what's up you know like a watt like a kilowatt it looks like that it's really pretty if i remember so i also have a mini of that one this product i didn't really know what category to put it in it's the bare minerals translucent powder duo so one side is matte and one is glow can't really tell on camera. This is the matte side and this is the glow side. Um, people say that this is really good and I got this in a boxy charm and I haven't ever used it from what I can tell. So yeah, this might be something really good for under eye. So I'll have to try that. Here is something very pretty to me and it's so pretty that I don't want to use it. <laughs> It's the MAC um, Postmodernist Peach Extra Dimension Skin Finish. But it's like from their that collection they did with the see-through. I don't remember what it was called, but I got the highlighter. I also have this Ciate. Wow, you can see everything. <laughs> Ciate London Confetti Highlighter which I think is probably too deep for me. That's what it looks like. But when I swatch it, it's very like coppery. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's, I think that is too deep for me. That's a shame. I got this in a boxy charm, but so it's not like I paid full price for it. But anyway, yeah, I'm getting rid of that. It looks really good, like it looked like a nice formula, but I just know that's not going to be a good shade for me. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Warm Nude. I love this thing. This is supposedly like you can use it for your whole face, but I use it as a highlighter. I just mix mainly this area here. Um, yeah, and I really like this. If you're looking for a drugstore highlighter, I would suggest this one. And I've also seen this at like Winners and things like that, so you can probably get it for even cheaper. Um, this is my KVD um, Alchemist Holographic Palette, face and eye. But I haven't used this on my eye. You can't tell on camera, but these are all different shades um it's kind of like my becca palette but i don't know i guess this is more like subtle but not really it's just a different formula like you can't you can barely see the colors here but um yeah it looks really nice on the face so i like this one i have this this is actually a mini um this is the hard candy just glow rose gold highlighter the regular size of this is huge so i didn't even know this was a mini but apparently it is um i got this in a walmart beauty box when they were making those looks like this i just mix everything and i actually quite like this one too um this one 
I'm pretty sure I used this in my Wet n Wild video, but I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> it's the Hello Halo Blush Highlighter. No, Blush Lighter. So it's like a blush and highlighter duo. This is the shade Highlight Bling, it says right here. Um, I also have this Becca Glow Glaze Stick. This is like very, very subtle. Um, it's more like something that makes you look dewy than look highlighted, if you know what I mean. And I think it's best used on like a no makeup makeup day because it's so subtle. But yeah, I like the formula. It's not sticky or anything, which is good. Oh, here we have my ABH and Reezy highlighter. That looks brand new still. <laughs> Um, I've talked about this many times how um, I don't, this is not my favorite and I don't know why because everyone loves it so much but it looks a bit dry on me I feel so I don't know but it is really nice packaging. <laughs> Um, here I have a Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow Mini, no, Mini Diamond and Glow. This came in the Sephora Favorite set, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I haven't even used it yet. So, it looks really pretty though. This is from Tarte, it's the Spellbound Glow Rainbow Highlighter. So this came out with that makeup What's it called? Make Believe in Yourself collection. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. But it looks like this. So again, you just mix everything together. This is actually really nice. I like it a lot. This is another one of my favorites. It's the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. Um, you could mix this one all together, but I usually like stick to like this side here because this shade could get deeper, but this is really nice. These, like, if you watch any other YouTube videos, you know Ofra highlighters are, like, very popular. And, yeah, it's because they're really, they're very, like, metallic and smooth and nice, so, yeah. Um, this is another liquid highlighter. It's called Oh, this is actually like a boxy charm exclusive with Temp2. It's a liquid glow. I think from what I saw, um, yeah, it says shake well and apply by hand. But I think Temp2 makes like those airbrush machines. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, but this is meant to be applied with the hands. I have not use this one time. <laughs> I have another Wet n Wild highlighter. This one is in the shade Precious Petals. It looks really pretty. I don't know if I've used it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is something I bought from the Boxy Pop-Up and it came all like smashed and broken because they, for some reason, thought it was a good idea to put everything loose in like a big bag. And I don't know. So it's not even in the pan. <laughs> but this is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. So like, I've been hearing about this like, since I started watching YouTube. It's like, well it used to be like everyone's favorite, but I guess now there's so much on the market. But anyway, I really wanted to try this. I just have to be very careful whenever I do because it's not even glued in, but yeah, I have this. I have, so this is like the full size, I guess, of the sky, but this is a different shade. This is the shade Illuminati. Um, I think I did use this before and I really liked it. Yeah, it's open, so I definitely used it. This is really nice, if I remember correctly. Um, this is um, this brand that I can never say, I'll just call it Vintage, but it's by Jessica, this word, 
<laughs> Liebeskind? I don't know. And this is the Illuminating Face Highlighter Set. I can never open this. This is one of the oldest things in my collection because I got it in a boxy charm. Um, so there's Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. I remember this being really pretty though. I need to use this more. And another vintage product. This is the Illuminating Face Highlighter in Rose Gold. Wait, so is this the same thing? Oh no, this was Rose Quartz. <laughs> this is Rose Gold. That looks more like a blush, to be honest, but yeah, I have that. I think that's it for highlighters. And I think this video is getting long, so... Oh no, I see something else over there. Just two more <laughs> things that I saw. Um, this one is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter in number three, I guess. It's like a moussey kind of product. This looks like it'd be too dark, but I actually use this in the summer and I really like it. And then another like cream highlighter. This is the MAC Iced Up. Um, so in my eyeshadow video, I mentioned those two, that like MAC duo, the pink one. This came in that set, so I don't think you can buy it on its own. But that's what that looks like, and I really like it. Yeah, so that is it now. So I think, yeah, I'll end this video here. But I still have blush, bronzer, and then like all base products. So yeah, <laughs> if you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!